This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on their Web Development 1 course. I'm on level 12, Identification, please. Goals. Change the text align of hashtag element 2. Change the background color of hashtag, or pound sign, I guess, element 3. The alternative to CSS class is ID. ID attributes mark elements with a specific name to recall later while a class can be repeated across multiple elements. And ID is for one specific thing, right? So you might give a class to a paragraph tag, and then an H3 tag, and a list tag, and then you make all of those things colored orange, right? However, if you want to just specifically take one part of a or one paragraph and not change all the paragraphs, then you would make it, give it an ID in the tag. All right. So, is one specific element think think of it as a piece of identification like a school ID or a driver's license. So, hashtag main main, yep, ID. There's only one main. Got it. All right. So, here's a CSS comment. We know this is CSS because it's between style and style on the page. Everything else is HTML. All right. Change this element's text align. All right, so I remember that one. It's text hyphen align that we need a semicolon. And let's say center. Oh, yeah. See what happened to shoots a bow? All right. Add a rule for element three. Well, we don't even have the start of that. So I guess, and we can go down here and check. Oh, yeah, it's an ID. So ID means it needs a hash to be used, hashtag to be used element three and then curly bracket brace curly brace uh change element three's background color okay so background hyphen color i guess is what they have and let's say red oh, that's ugly let's say green light blue ah i like that one anyways all right awesome so what I did was I added this text align center, and then I changed my background. Oh, and then I added element three, right, and changed it to light blue. I don't need that. Great, let's keep going. 